Hi, I'm Maria Palazzola with MyGolfInstructor.com. Chances are, you're actually a much better putter than you think you are. But your distance control is probably not all that great, especially compared to the tour players. When you watch tour players warm up before a tournament on the putting green, one thing you should observe is that when they miss a putt, all their putts will actually gather very close to one another in the same spot, usually about a foot and a half past the hole. What they're doing is giving their putt enough speed to get there, but yet not leaving too long of a putt coming back. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to give the putt enough speed to stay on that break line. If we don't give it enough, it's going to die off too soon. If we give it too much, it'll actually run straight through the break. So I've got a great drill, very simple, called the flag stick drill. It's going to help you get that ideal distance on each of your putts, giving your putts a chance to drop. And if they don't, hey, worst case, you got a nice easy tap in. So this drill called the flag stick drill, I also call it never up, never in. This is a great drill for leg putting. As you can see, I've placed the flag stick about a foot and a half or so past the hole. When we're leg putting, we obviously want to always give the putt a chance, so it's a good idea to get the putt at least to the hole. However, there are occasions, rare occasions, where you will want to leave it short so that maybe, you know, possibly you don't have, you know, a quick downhill putt coming back. But 99% of the time, really, you're going to want to at least get the putt to the hole. We're also going to want to get it on a pace so that it's going to take that perfect break line. In other words, if I hit the putt too hard and it's going to go four or five feet past the hole, it had too much speed, so it was going to go just straight through the break. The flip side, if I hit it too soft, it's going to fall off the break line too soon. So what I'm going to do here is just practice rolling putts, getting them to at least the hole, but yet not too far past the hole, so I don't want to hit the flag stick. If I can do this over and over, I'm going to leave myself tap-ins all the time. This is a great drill for learning how to control your pace. Here's how it's done. It's simple and it works.